Jessica and today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. I've done products I regret buying videos in the past and I'll link all the ones I've done. I've actually done some recently like high-end products that I just didn't like. This video is going to be focused on products that I was sent for free from companies that I didn't like. Guys, it's just makeup. I'm wanting to be honest with you guys, as I always am. My job is to tell you guys what's good, what's not, what's kind of mediocre, and so that's what I'm doing here. So I know that for some people, if these are products you like, you'll be offended, or if you just think that I'm ungrateful, but I hope you can understand where I'm coming from, that I'm just doing my job to tell you guys what products I think are worth buying and what products aren't. And a lot of these are really, really expensive products that I don't want you guys to waste your money on. So again, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt because I am just one person and it's just my opinion, my skin type, my skin coloring, all of that plays a part. So, wow, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first one I wanted to mention was sent to me by Pure Cosmetics or Pure. They, I know they're going through like a rebranding kind of thing. They have a lot of great products that they have sent me that I really liked, um, including their Pure Eye Gloss that you like. It's like the sponge and it's amazing. I've done a video. I'll link it below. This is their Pure Cameo Contour and they sent me all of them. This one's in the shade Light. It's the only one I kept because it would be it would fit my coloring. Um, it's dual-ended, so you get a stick of the contour shade on one side. It's pretty pigmented, right? I mean, and it's actually a pretty good color. And then you get the highlight shade on the other. It's kind of more of like a foundation shade, if you will. Pigmented as well. Um, you guys, honestly, it wore off in the most patchy way ever that I couldn't believe it. I've tried so many different like cream contours and usually at least if it's going to wear off, it'll just wear off in one piece. The day I wore this, I didn't contour like my whole face or anything. I was just contouring right here and I just highlighted like, you know, a few areas, but mostly I was looking at the contour because the highlight I was like, well, you know, we'll see, but it's kind of more of like a concealer anyway. So I was really focused on the contour side and it looked crazy by the end of the day. Like it was just like splotchy. It looked like someone had taken a sponge and just stippled it on. It looked weird. Like it looked scaly like a lizard. And so I was like, okay, maybe it was just the foundation and the primer I was using. I've tried it like two more days, like on a day I wasn't working that time because I just felt crazy at the end of the day. I was like, this is embarrassing. Um, so I wore it with different primers, different foundations, and it still wore away that same way. And I was like, okay, I can't, I just can't. So this is one that because of the way it stays or doesn't stay on, I can't recommend it to anyone. Now, I didn't try all the other shades because again, it wouldn't fit. So I know for sure that happened with the light. I, doesn't, I don't have oily skin. Um, I've got really normal to dry and especially in here, I never really have experienced that with anything else. So I have to attribute it to this product. The next one is one of my favorite brands, e.l.f. Eyes, Lips, Face. You guys know I love them, but I also will tell you when products are terrible. I recently mentioned this in my January favorites and flops as a flop. But these are the e.l.f. I already forgot what they're called. Again, I'll list it on the screen. <laughs> Same thing happened in the other video. These are really, really inexpensive, but they're horrible. When you put them on your lips, they swatch nicely on your hand. But when you put them on your lips, they pull your lips and they just look crazy. And then like they'll catch any dryness you have on your lips, it will catch it. And on top of that, it wears off horribly. Your lips feel even drier afterwards. And they sent me all the shades that I tried, I think all of them on my lips. Horrible. There are tons of tinted lip balm options out there. These are ones you should stay far, far away from. This is going to be one that is shocking to many. These are the YSL Rouge Pure Couture Lip Sticks in number 19 and 9. These just happen to be the two shades that were sent to me. These Oh my gosh, I have tried them in so many ways. And there's something, when you swatch them, they're beautiful, they're really, I mean, crazy pigmented. But no matter what lip liner I have worn them with, and without lip liner, of course, they look crazy on the outer parts of my lips. Like they just wear away, again, kind of in a splotchy, weird way. And I'm so sad and I want these to work. And these colors, I mean, especially that color is absolutely gorgeous. But every time I've worn these, I felt like, no, like I just don't like them. So for that reason, I can't recommend them. And I mean, the Revlon Super Luscious Lipsticks are so much better and they're like $6. So 
There are so many options that I would recommend over this for way cheaper that I just can't. I can't with these. If you're going to buy a YSL lip product, I would say try, try the Rouge Volupt. They're really, really silky. They're really pigmented as well, but they're just comfortable and they, they're kind of glidey in a way, but they don't go outside your lip line. It's really weird, <laughs> to be honest, but I like these so much more. And this is one of those things that I have to just say, I can't keep them just because the packaging is beautiful. Because if I'm not using them, pass them on, Jessica. And I, you know, I'm the queen of decluttering. I declutter all the time. I've done tons of videos on it. And that is my biggest thing, not holding on to products that are just cute or, you know, that were maybe really expensive. But if I'm not using them ever and they're bringing me no joy, even looking at them, I just feel guilty that I don't use them, then why am I keeping them, you know? The next one I'm gonna mention, I'm really sad about. And this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I wore for my wedding the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, and I loved it. They reformulated it, and the new formula on my skin, which is like normal, kinda dry this time of year, is horrible. It, I don't know what they did, but I'm so sad. I'm like, no, and I've even compared it literally side by side on my face, and it is completely different. This formula, for some reason, just sits on top of my skin. I've done it with brushes, I've done it with my hands, I've done it with the Beauty Blender. No matter how I apply it, it just moves around on top of my skin. You can just see, you can just see it sitting there. And it, it's the weirdest thing, because the original formula blended so seamlessly into my skin. And it wasn't my number one favorite foundation of all time, but it's certainly up there, and this one, it just doesn't cut it. I don't know. And I wonder if it works better for uh, like maybe oily skin types that sinks into, but I don't see how it would. I don't know. A lot of people love the new formula. I was not impressed. And you know, I kept trying it thinking, oh my gosh, there's no way this is as bad as it's looking. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but no matter what I did, it looked crazy. And these were sent to me by Makeup Forever. So, you know, I hate to say that, but I did not like it. This next one was sent to me by Hourglass. And I was like, wow, like this is so exciting. And you gotta understand that. Okay. Okay, what is going on? So this next one was sent to me by Hourglass. And you've gotta understand like, it's still emotional for me to get packages from these companies that are amazing companies that I'm like, how do they even have a clue who I am, let alone send me things? So it's not that I'm ungrateful. I just want to be real with you guys and let you know. This is their Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. This would maybe be okay if you have oily skin because it is very drying. And what, when I first tried this out, I didn't really have any dry skin and it just looked so splotchy and patchy right off the bat. I couldn't, I've never had that experience. And no matter how I applied it, it would just, it was orange and it would just, those orange spots would oxidize on any dry patch on my face and never go away, no matter what I did, unless I was just taking all of my makeup off. This was like, ooh, this was horrible. I, and I kept looking at it thinking, how is this possible? And this is the shade Ivory and it was completely orange. I wonder how it'll show up. Oh, okay. Can you guys see, I, of course the lighting is not doing it justice at all. It looked crazy on my skin, absolutely crazy, but not only was the color just wrong, and that happened, so you know, that would be a shade by shade thing, I would assume. But that aside, the fact that it just caught every dry patch and I could not get it to go away no matter what, I, I was just astounded, I was like, okay, so not for normal to dry skin, Again, if you've got oily skin, let all of us know down below if it works for you, but this is really expensive to have this experience. So I'm really glad to share with you guys, don't buy it if you have normal to dry skin. Another product that was recently sent to me was from Sleek, and I just recently actually got this and hauled this in a Sleek like makeup haul. This is their Bare Kiss Illuminator, and when I swatched on there, I was like, oh my gosh, because it's, <laughs> this is crazy. It, um, it's beautiful. I mean, when you look at it, it's like, wow, that's so pearlescent. But guys, that's gray. Like that is silver. Uh, there's no, it is silver. <laughs> now, you could put this on your eyelid and it'd probably look beautiful, you know, just kind of, I don't know. It's actually gray. And I remember I applied it with a stippling brush. Like I had it like this on my hand. I stippled some onto it and it looked crazy. And I'm like, okay, so now I know not to do that. So then I mixed some with like a tiny bit with foundation. I looked like the Tin Man. I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So, I don't know what, I'm, 
pretty fair. If it doesn't work on me, it can't work very well on deeper skin tones. And again, there are going to be exceptions to that rule, but no, just no. <laughs> No, 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 no. So those are the grouping of products that I've recently been sent that I was just ugh, about, just not impressed at all. Hopefully I explained it well so it made sense as to why it didn't work for me and my skin tone and my skin type. I hope that you will check out some of my other videos and subscribe so you don't miss any other ones, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!